It's a beautiful day up here in the mountains in Bulgaria and perfect day for my first ever horseback ride because I somehow made it 31 years without ever doing this. That's right, I've never ridden a horse before and Lexi loves riding horses. So being in such a mountainous country, we figured a horseback ride would be the perfect way to see one of the mountains farther away from Sofia. Now, being as inexperienced as I was, this was easily my most uncomfortable adventure so far. I had no idea what I was doing whatsoever. I'm still mildly terrified that the horse is gonna accidentally fall off off the cliff. Ow, 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 for it. Ow. The guide for this thing was not helpful. Not checking to make sure we're okay. I am all alone and lost. I have a very unhappy horse here. <laughs> So I should clarify something I said earlier. I technically have been on a horse before in Russia, but that was a super beginner thing where they have people walking alongside all of the horses to guide them. So as a rider, you don't really have to do anything. You just kind of sit there. I didn't expect this day in the Balkan mountains to be quite that easy, but the website did say that this tour was suitable for beginners. So I figured there would be a few minutes of training or at the very least a helpful guide. No. Nope. Quick aside, I wanna talk about the gas station we stopped in on the way there, specifically the bathroom. It's got this fancy sliding door and oh my God, it's so clean. Coming from America where most gas station bathrooms are the grossest things on the planet, this was kind of a culture shock in the best possible way. So anyway, back to the horses. Our guide asked us about our experience levels and I said that I had never ridden a horse before. And I don't even know why he asked because he didn't seem to use that information. He helped me get on the horse, but then he just kind of took off. So I'm up on this horse with no idea how to control it. If you wanna see some footage of the ride in the mountains, there will be some later in this video. But I didn't film anything for the first half because I was 100% focused on just not getting injured. So the guide and Lexi both started riding their horses along the trail and my horse followed behind at the back of the line. And I quickly realized that this was not the most well-maintained trail. There were tons of tree branches sticking out into the trail and my horse kept running me into them. Now the trail was wide enough that it would have been fine for someone who could control their horse. But since I had no idea what I was doing, I kept doing this like duck and weave dance to avoid getting smacked in the face. But some of these branches were so big that they hit me no matter what I did. Luckily, I was wearing this hat and some sunglasses, which offered more protection than you'd think. What was more terrifying was the fact that a lot of this ride was on the side of a cliff with a really steep drop. So I was somewhat scared that I'd like unintentionally jolt the horse into walking off the side of the mountain. Or more realistically, that I'd get hit by an unfortunately placed branch and fall off myself. Throughout all of this, Lexi, who was a little bit ahead of me, kept shouting instructions back to me. So I was literally learning the basics of riding a horse while constantly trying to not get hit in the face. I also didn't pick up on like half of what she was saying through a combination of not being able to hear her very well and being so focused on avoiding tree branches. So she had to keep shouting instructions back at me over and over. We were both making a lot of noise that the guide could clearly hear, but throughout all of this, he just didn't give a shit. He was in his own world, on his phone the whole time, probably scrolling through social media while I was contemplating my life choices on a horse. Yeah, talk about suitable for beginners. About an hour into the ride, just as I was sort of getting the hang of it, we arrived at our destination, which was the 800-year-old Glozing Monastery. This monastery was fine. Like, it had really great views, but other than that, nothing really stands out in my memory. Or maybe I just got spoiled by Rila Monastery earlier in the month, which was breathtakingly beautiful. Even though this monastery was nothing special, I was just so excited to get off the horse and actually start walking again. We only spent about 15 minutes at the monastery since there wasn't that much to see and then went back to the horses for the second half of our ride. We're on my first ever horse ride. Was pretty terrified the first like 15 minutes. I had no idea what I was doing whatsoever. Ow, 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 thorns, ow. But I think I'm sort of getting the hang of it. I'm still mildly terrified that the horse is gonna accidentally fall off the cliff, but whatever, I guess I just gotta trust it. I wouldn't say that I was super comfortable on the horse yet, but I was comfortable enough at times to pull out my phone and start taking videos. And I'm really glad I have these to look back on because the trail and the surrounding scenery were incredible to look at, especially on this perfect sunny day.
just like with the first half of the journey, the guide was on his phone the whole time, not paying any attention to us. Little did I know that having an inattentive guide would start to matter even more than it did previously. All right, I got a little scared on the downhill, so I got off the horse and now I'm trying to walk the horse, but I have no idea what I'm doing and I think he's walking me. Ow, ow, ow. horse just stepped on my foot. When I first got off the horse, my legs were absolutely killing me and I could barely walk. I don't know if I was sitting on the horse wrong or if I'm not used to this or if this is just normal, but my legs are absolutely destroyed. Also, I'm all alone right now. The guide and Lexi are way ahead of me. Don't exactly know where they are. I came upon a fork in the road and not sure which way to turn. I think I went the wrong way. Let's see if I can, all right, come on. Let's see if I can turn this guy around. Come on, let's turn around. The guide for this thing is absolutely not helpful. Uh, <laughs> horse is not happy. He just kept going way ahead of us, not checking to make sure we're okay. Now, I am all alone and lost. I guess I'll wait for them to come back for me, hopefully. I'm a very unhappy horse here. I'm trying to get it to move forward, but was complaining last time. Yeah, I have no idea where I am. And I have no idea where anyone else is. Hopefully I make it back to Sofia. I know I didn't have anything to truly worry about, but still, in the moment, this was not fun. I was in a foreign country in the middle of nowhere, far away from civilization, with a horse that didn't seem to like me very much. Luckily, this part only lasted 10 minutes. Oh, thank God, I'm saved. Lexi came back to find me. Thank you, Lexi. So, am I glad I did this? Well, even though I was super uncomfortable most of the time, I didn't actually get injured. Like, my hand was bleeding a little bit from getting cut by a thorn, but honestly, it was barely worse than a paper cut. But more importantly, the scenery was gorgeous, and I got to see a part of Bulgaria far away from the parts I had already been. And really, it's experiences like this that make the journey way more memorable. Like, realistically, I'm not gonna remember all the times I went to some city and saw a bunch of buildings that were on some trip advisor list, but getting out of my comfort zone and learning how to ride a horse while dodging branches on the side of a cliff? Now that I'm always gonna remember. So, yeah, I'm really glad I did this. Thinking back on this months later as I record this, this is one of those days that made my month in Bulgaria feel like such an awesome adventure. Although I do hope my next horseback ride goes a little more smoothly than this one. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you wanna see what my next horse ride was like, and I will see you in the next one.